all right gonna do a quick one just using this uh, Browning 180 amp because I just got it and uh, gonna try to go through it right quick and get it fixed up and see if everything is all good but before I did I was gonna do one on common problems I see with tube amplifiers and since this one is small and spread out and not a lot of uh, extra components to it um, and since I just got it and got to open it up and gonna play with it I was just gonna go through it before I play with it again this common problems I see with tube amplifiers one is the tune or the load cap there behind it they short or arc or are intermittent intermittent short open sometimes short closed sometimes they open sometimes they're intermittent and you can tune it and get power up and you know then power goes away um, one of the causes of that or some of the causes of that are you overdrive the amp and they can't take the power coming out of it they have ratings on them another is you mistune it you always tune an amplifier um, for max power and some people tune them down um, and make them do less watts and hence all those extra watts are floating in the um, uh, tubes and in the circuitry and not going out resonant to the antenna as it's supposed to and another is if you got bad harmonics um, especially from your radio going into the amp the amp amplifies those harmonics and those harmonics hit the tune and the load and um, that extra voltage and bad stuff they don't like it and it kills these um, tune and load cap a lot of times you could see it um, see an arc or burn mark on them or else as you're turning it you know you can feel a soft spot or a hard spot or a catch or a glitch in them so this one seems to be okay one of the things I did um, find with this one as I say I just got it opened it up and um, this um, tank coil here was completely disconnected from the um, tune cap there so uh, we put some extra solder on it and soldered it up and everything feels nice and solid now um, another thing we find a uh, very common problem with these old amps most of these amps are made from like the 70s and 80s during this the CB boom these tube amps and dirty relays here's the um, only relay on this the antenna relay they also use this relay when it kicks in the uh, input side to ground the um, the tubes so the um, tubes aren't running um, with no ground on it until you key it down and then when you key it down that choke there is connected to in circuit and it uh, grounds the um, the voltage for the tubes and makes the tubes operational but anyway these relays get very carboned over get very dirty I haven't cleaned this or messed with this yet I just wanted to show how dirty they get and hence you can't get good contact you know through the uh, dirty um, contacts of the relays and connectors and you can see how dirty uh, those contacts is there so I'm gonna clean them you can burnish them you can use a pencil eraser if they're not too bad um, or some people don't recommend this some people do get a soft wire brush on a Dremel and lightly lightly um, um, polish them up you don't want to use a file or something that's harsh and wear out the coating um, on the contact so lightly you want to clean it or burnish it not file it but anyway bad dirty relays are extremely common problem on um, why amps don't work you know a dirty relay on the input side the tubes are not getting drive um, one of the things you will see though if um, if it's the uh, dirty relay on the input side the input SWR go up and be high um, if it's on the output side the tubes are putting the power out but because you got a dirty contact on the output side 
it's not actually going out to the antenna um, it's just staying inside the amp floating around causing all kind of problems with the tubes and again your tune and load cap because the output is not going out it's just staying in the amp another common problem is the electrolytic caps I always say recap these old electrolytic caps actually this one has been recapped a long long time ago those are very old caps there I would say from the 70s era um, but originally this came with two caps and they were 500 volt rated and as you can see this one says uh, 450 volt rated and what somebody did was they put in a third cap but it's not the same well I guess it is 60 UF 450 volt um, so they put in three in series to handle the voltage three 450 volts instead of um, two 500 volt caps in this but anyway I don't know if I'm gonna use three or two of the higher voltage caps but definitely gonna replace those old caps because um, um, those lose their capacitance they can short they can blow and go off out of like a cannon um, when they short um, a lot of times they'll take out the diodes which is another problem the high voltage diodes this one is a bridge rectifier in one case that's all a, a bridge is is four diodes in one case instead of being separate um, diodes I saw online on Facebook where somebody was looking for a um, doubler diode um, and all that is is two diodes in one case you know just convenience is all you know um, you could use separate diodes and nowadays um, high power high voltage high current diodes are extremely common extremely cheap they cost like a dime each um, so if the diodes go um, I usually replace them with separates and if the diodes go one of the things it actually takes out is the uh, main power transformer um, if your transformer goes as soon as you power it up um, it'll blow the fuse and as you can see how small this transformer is in this little amp you know it's a little 100 watt amp a lot of people are like how can I get more watts you know what kind of tubes I could use I'm like man these little amps like this the transformer is barely rated you know to do what it's supposed to do anyway um, you run more power out of it or overdrive it or and all that you will kill the um, small transformer a lot of these small amps like these um, little browning 180s or small black cats a uh, common problem is they kill the transformer and how they do that is they overdrive it overrun it try to get too much out of it and it's sure it'll work for a little while but it won't take long till you um, blow the tranny and then you're gonna spend some serious money and just trying to find the good replacement with the right voltages and fit is no easy task so anyway again just quickly the most common things are dirty relays bad high voltage filter caps sometimes blown uh, diodes high voltage diodes usually when they blow you start blowing fuses and then people overfuse it too and then next thing you know you're going to blow the transformer if you do that and then um, shorted tune and load caps usually overdriving or you know got a harmonic in there or mistuning the amp anyway that's about all I wanted to go through with this one um, happy hunting out there bye